Hi and welcome to this old house. If you want to corral all your barware in one place alongside your wine glasses and wine bottles, this cocktail hutch is a perfect solution. The cabinet is made up of edge glued pine boards and dressed up with crown molding. Before you dive in, check out the cut list on this webpage to pick up your materials. Let's start by assembling the glass rack. Use a miter saw to cut the pieces to length, apply wood glue to each dowel, and center them on the lattice. Use a pneumatic nailer to tack them in place. Glue the glass racks on the lines, then tack them in place. Take the hutch panels and measure for the sides, top, and shelves. Then make the cross cuts with a circular saw. When you're finished with those pieces, measure and mark the dimensions for the Luan back and cut it to size as well. Lay two hutch sides on your work surface, mark the locations of the top and bottom shelves, then position the cleats and screw them in place. Apply glue on top of the cleats, tilt one side up and set the bottom shelf in place against the cleat. Use a nailer to tack the pieces together. Then glue the top shelf and set it in place and use a nailer to tack those pieces together as well. Now for the wine rack. Clamp a piece with one end hanging over your work surface. Adjust the blade on your circular saw to 45 degrees and bevel the overhanging end. Bevel the other end at an opposing angle, then bevel the second piece to match the first. Draw lines for a notch on each board. Clamp one of the pieces to your workbench. Use a jigsaw to cut the end of the lines and remove the excess material at the end of the cut. Now, once you have the notches, go ahead and slip the two boards together. The bevels at the bottom should face down, and the ones at the top should face the sides. Set the wine rack insert in the hutch, and place a shelf above it. Nail through the sides of the box and into the edges of the shelf to secure it. But don't nail into the wine rack. You want to allow for a little bit of movement. Mark the locations for the remaining shelves and nail them in place as well. To give the hutch a finished look, you'll add a face frame over the exposed edges of the box. Measure and cut the pieces to length on your miter saw. Set the styles in place, flush with the sides of the hutch. Nail them in place, and then install the rails between them. The crown molding needs backing strips for support. Use your circular saw to bevel pieces of 2x4 to make them, then nail them around the top of the hutch. Back at your miter saw, bevel both ends of the strips of base molding for the front piece, then bevel the matching ends of the side pieces and straight cut the back ends. Install the molding so that it covers the sides. Then cut the crown molding to length, dry fit the pieces, and use the nailer to tack them in place. Now the finish is up to you. We used a dark interior latex paint with a satin finish to give the piece a formal look. Whatever you choose, when you're finished, well, it might just be time for a cocktail. <laughs>